everybody, we are back. You know, my next guest from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, and starting next Friday, you can be uh, seeing her in the brand new horror movie, Wrong Turn. Please welcome Eliza Dushku. Wow. This is so very exciting. I can't even tell you how surreal it is right now to be on the stage with like the two funniest guys on the planet. We'll be on the show. Oh, good. Yeah, because there's no insane. one else here right now. <laughs> but what are you on, lady? This is very I exciting. see two Conans. <laughs> uh, no, well, it's very nice to have you here. Thank and that's, you. that outfit's incredible. That's thank amazing. You. I, I figured love with, you know, you two, I wanted to kind of like. Pop hey, well, well thank you bit. very much. <laughs> yeah. That is working. Those fishnets, those are pretty thank cool. You. Thanks. You know, I was thinking today, and I was thinking, when's the first time that I that I saw you in something, and I think the first time I saw you, and probably a lot of people, is uh, when you played Arnold Schwarzenegger's kid yes. in, uh, True, in Lies. True Lies. Yep. That's right, yeah, and, and that's where I saw you for the first time, and I thought, you must have been pretty young when you did that. Yeah, I was, I was 12 years old. So what was it like to meet Arnold when you were 12 it was, years old? It was I mean, really weird, it was really weird. Um, it was cool, though, because I got to invite my friends to come to set and stuff, and hang out, and I was like, hey, you wanna come to Washington, D.C. and hang out with Arnold? And they mm -hmm. were like, yeah, right. But um, he, he delivered, because one, one of my best friends, Ali, showed up and uh, came into the trailer, and he was like all in his wardrobe, and he said, let's go to Planet Hollywood right now. Let's get in my Hummer, and let's go to Planet Hollywood. And my friend was kind of like dumbfounded, and, uh, but we did, and we get in his Hummer, so we start driving there, and as we're nearing Planet Hollywood, Arnold busts up on the curb and starts like chasing people, like tourists and pedestrians, down the sidewalk. Wait a minute, you can't do that. That's illegal. The window. And he was, What's like, he? Screaming. Is he like yelling, "I am Arnold, get out of the way"? He thought it was. He what is he doing? What does he think he's doing? He was, you know, trying to like amuse the children. Now wait, doesn't he also own a part of Planet Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you know why yeah, we got right. to get that's him. That's right. We are going to the restaurant that I own. <laughs> Uh, Get so, out of the way. So he takes you to the restaurant, and what's he like? Is he good with kids? Is he funny with kids? Yeah, he had, he had children of his own, and he was really good. He kind of, he, we ate a meal, and we had, you know, best seat in the house, and mm -hmm. then he ordered this dessert plate with every dessert on it, and Allison was really nervous, and she kind of couldn't really speak. So he was trying to loosen her up, and so he, there was this big piece of German chocolate cake on the thing, and he says, Allison, I smell this cake. It smells like lemon to me. It's so strange, because it looks chocolate. He's like, smell this. And so she kind of, like, really nervously, like, gets right. up, and he stuffs it all in her face. What? It's and a little I, girl. And I, <laughs> it's a little girl and he's probably, he's got like a forearm like a ha ha ha. I'm a joke, I do. She was, she was legitimately terrified. She, she was terrified? And she she didn't ran think it was, in the bathroom. She, she was ran like, away? Crying. Arnold was like, I was just trying to make friends. I was like, no. no this no, no. always happens to me. I crush the girl with my hands and then she gets mad. Why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I would love it if, if Arnold had his own children show. <laughs> In retrospect, I mean, for her, it's a great story, you know? It's a good story that, now because yeah. she's had reconstructive surgery on her jaw. <laughs> It's all going to be fine yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. That is such yeah. a funny story. Uh, yeah. Now, you and I have something in common. Uh, we're both sexy. I know. Uh, I try Boston, and slip that in. Baby. Yeah, Boston. Boston represent. Yes. I'm from Boston. Yes. Anyone? They're lying. Love me some Boston. They're all wearing Canada t-shirts. They just wanted to hear themselves on TV. I love now, me some Boston. I'm curious about something about Boston, because when I, I went home to Boston uh, like two weeks ago to, to do this event, and... I land in uh, Logan Airport and I, I get in, try and find the cab line and I'm trying to find where the end of the line is. Mm -hmm. And the guy running the line was like, you know, get in the back of the line, movie, you know, TV star, you know, <laughs> don't try and cut the line TV star. And I wasn't yeah. trying, I was what just are you trying. Fancy? to fancy? Yeah, Who do you think you are? Right, yeah. and, I, and, and there's this whole attitude there of, and I was telling the guy, like, I wasn't trying to, I'm just trying to find, he was like, yeah, I get in you know. <laughs> and the thing is, uh, and then Arnold showed up and drove up on the curb. <laughs> ah! And crushed cake into my yeah, head. I mean, Boston, like, growing up in high school, being being in movies was not a cool thing. Like, you'd think that people would kind of, you know, oh, wow, they were like, you think you're fancy, you're a big movie star, like, get out of here. They, they want to take you, you down a peg, like, yeah. initiation, but now it's all love. And now all Boston loves you, except for that one guy. Because, serious, like... Oh, that Boston, one guy, yeah, yeah. Conan is like, you are the man. Oh, like, you, please, I'm that's craziness. You, no, I, like, that's <laughs> not... <laughs> He's like, you love me now. Uh, um, 
Um, no, uh, but did, now did you have to work to lose your accent? Because I look when I look at home movies of me growing up as a kid, I have the thickest, yeah, me crazy too. Boston accent, and I never tried to get rid of it. I just moved out of Boston and I lived in LA and I lived in all these different places and it right. gradually just kind of went away. What about you? Did you? I got mine kind of smacked out of me because I, I got my first movie when I was by three. Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you talk so funny? I was, like, I was 10, and they, so they hired me a coach, and it was kind of like that. I mean, she wasn't as beefy and, and like, Arnold-esque, <laughs> but she, uh, she just kind of, every, every time I drop my R's, right. like, park here, there, Boston people know. Right, right. Um, everyone thinks that's real funny, and everyone's like, oh, you just said park, or you just right, said, so right. she would kind of smack me and zap me or something. Right, right. That's a good school system. <laughs> They would do that. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, Wrong Turn opens uh, next Friday. Yeah. It's scary, you guys. I'm telling you, it's really scary. My friends will tell me if my, <laughs> if my movies suck. Wait, this is my interview. What is that? Wait, someone's phone. Hello? Don't touch my phone! <laughs> Mr. Stephen Hawking. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is Jim's phone. This is such an honor. Here we go. It's for you. Hello! Stephen! <laughs> Steven! <laughs> I think we better go. Uh, wrong turn opens next Friday. Eliza Dushku, thank you so much for being here. You were great. Stay right here. We'll be right back. Regina Thomas. I'm sorry.